um, super excited to get out here today in our home opener, being at home. Um, just the fans were electric. Um, we just had so much excitement the last couple of weeks preparing for this moment. Excited to start year three and excited to, for me, myself, ex excited to coach this group. Um, and then just today, the dominance, um, just from the tip, I felt like Lib came out. Um, her pace was amazing, electric in transition. Um, she had the crowd um, going with her passes and finishes, and um, it, it, was, it was great. And I feel like when we start that way and we set the tone uh, with our pace and our, our defense, I think, um, you know, we try to take teams out right from the beginning. So it was really, really excited and really pleased with our effort, um, pleased with the way that we started the game. And, again, having a dominant performance um, all the way around. Great contribution from so many p different weapons on our team. It was just really fun to be out there. Sabia, can you talk about what you saw just in tip? Yeah. You were to I actually didn't see much. <laughs> From a passing standpoint, I feel like my lanes kind of weren't as open as they usually are, um, hence why I was kind of more aggressive to the hoop. Um, but no, I just, you know, I always look for lanes and, and ways that I can drive within our offense. So um, that's kind of what I was looking for as I realized that my passing lanes weren't as open today. Any idea why? Okay. I don't know. I feel like they just scouted really yeah, well. Just yeah, they scouted really well. Um, they intercepted that one cross court pass that I usually like to make. So I just knew from that point that they kind of knew what I was going to do. Um, so then I just took you know what they gave me and started shooting more. When the um, Kylie and Lauren show in these first two games that the uh, element can they both be really effective, but they can be effective while being in the game at the same time. Yeah. They need to be working that to just what they're doing, but. Talk about having them both on the floor at the same time at times as well. Because those two yeah. shooters are all your combination. Yeah, I mean, they work really well off of each other. Um, we're also really close off the court, so I feel like it kind of translate on, translates on the court. And I'm always telling Coach Ivy, you know, we should run you know, our post-up plays just because, you know, they can't really guard Ebo or Kylie. So um, just really getting them in actions is super important, getting them the ball. Um, you know, calling doubles when we see them, working off of each other, you know, when <clears throat> Ebo can pass Kylie and vice versa. Um, it's really important posting one of them up so they can kind of work off of each other. Well, same question for you, Kylie. How, how keen are you, if anybody, you have on the forwards right now, including mm -hmm. Lauren? Yeah, I think one of the really cool things about this team is how close we are off the court. And I know that was something that we had to work on early in the year, just coming in with so many new players, um, figuring out how each other plays and kind of reading each other. But I think right now we're really starting to click, and it's really fun to play with guards like we have, and it makes it really easy to kind of do that. I guess speaking of that, Dara had a really nice pass to you down low. Talk to both of you guys about that because you were on the receiving end of it, but then obviously you're the facilitator on this <laughs> team, so I want to get your thoughts on what that pass was like too. Yeah, I actually think it was Maddie, yeah. but I was behind it, was it and I saw it, oh, yeah, and it, it was, was really, it was really clean, yeah. and just like they do that stuff all the time. I mean, obviously yeah. we know what Liv can do, but just having multiple guards that can do that and see the floor that they do and also be able to be a scoring threat too is really, really, it's hard to guard. Yeah, no, I mean, I was right front and center watching it, so it was super cool. Um, I knew what Dara was going to do before she even did it. Um, I saw her looking, and um, it was just really cool to kind of see her, you know, make that play. Um, I appreciate good passers, um, <laughs> and I love, you know, seeing a connection on the court. That's one of the most re rewarding things for me, for sure. Same five, Kylie, Laura, Olivia, you guys obviously, you know, kind of started off a bit rusty, obviously, you know, never in the game was ever really in doubt, but you didn't right. build that 40 point lead right away. Yeah. You know, was there a sense that, you know, if you just kept on shooting, you'd work way through it? Or, you know, how did you kind of shake off that initial rust and never, you know, shoot through it again? I mean, I didn't really feel like we were rusty. Um, I kind of felt like we just, you know, we talked about this after, just keeping our foot on the gas the whole time. Um, like you said, you know, that 40 point lead didn't come right away. So, um, I would just say we need to work on, you know, keeping our foot on the gas, like I said, the whole time and just working through um, those struggles that we do have in those times. It's going to happen. It's basketball, you know, runs and whatnot. But <clears throat> like you said, keep shooting, keep getting to the basket. If we ha are not making it um, from the outside, throw it inside and just work inside out. We always talk about that. So. Did you sense that there was a bit of an adjustment? Yeah, um, right away. You know, it's, it's kind of easy to tell. Lost the game for a while. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of easy to tell, especially with Kylie and, and Evo. No one can really guard them down low. They're so big and just such huge targets to, to work off of. So our emphasis is always throwing it inside, and our emphasis today was points in the paint, just outscoring them in the paint. So 
um, we did a really good job of that, and it, you know, turned out well for us. Coach, just three fouls from your starting five. What was the approach defensively uh, going in, in terms of balancing aggressiveness and then playing smart? Yeah, um, that's something that we are working on and something that we are growing, our defensive mindset. Um, they're all locked in, committed to it. Um, there's some things that we're focusing on as far as our team goals, and that was one of them, actually. Um, and so that's really great. And it just shows, like, our growth in the last couple of weeks. Um, again, like I said, the commitment, the trust um, in our defense, and just individually um, giving a little bit more. I talked about that last couple of weeks, and they all are. They're committed to it. They're working towards it in practice. You can just tell the energy is shifting in that regards, and that's just awesome as a coach to see the improvement because we're working. We're work there working day in and day out. Um, on our closets, on our defense, on our help rotations, communication, and for us to be able to show and perform like that defensively is 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 what I love. And, uh, Kylie, your perspective of it, the zero fouls from you, and for a forward, you're playing a little bit more physical. That's, <laughs> that's tough. So what was your approach uh, defensively going in? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something that I needed to work on was my fouling, and that's something I talked to Coach Ivy about before the season kind of started. So just that was definitely something I focused on. Also, when I am switching with the guards, just keeping my hands off and – just using my quickness um, and down low too, just staying straight up and also using my quickness there too and just kind of trusting my teammates that they're going to be on health side and stuff like that. Uh, just kind of for you as a transfer, generally, generically, how special was it to, to make your home debut and kind of get the regular season started here? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I love this group of girls. I love everyone on the staff. It's just, it's been a really cool experience so far and I'm excited for the rest of it. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely something that um, I, I always feel like 2-3 or just having a zone is, is always good to have in the bag. And um, I like it to throw teams off, you know, kind of change the rhythm um, defensively. And so that's definitely something that I've, I've learned as a player and as an assistant coach for so long. Um, so it's definitely something we're still work, working with. But, yeah, I want to I be more aggressive. I want to play man-to-man. -man, um, and I feel like I have the pieces that can do that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I knew coming in that Northern could shoot from the three-point line. That was a def, an, another emphasis was defending the three-point line. Um, so, and then, you know, um, also just I think their exhibition game, they made 15 threes. And so we were well aware of that. It was something that we worked on all week. Um, so I knew that we'll be, we would be playing more man. But I think, I mean, I, I think it's good of having, you know, great defense man and end zone. But man is something I'm really focused on right now with this group. Seemed like Maddie Lesko was really solid on both ends of the floor. I think she had team high four blocks, 13 points, high shooting percentage. What did she provide and what, how did you see it from where you were? Well, Maddie, first of all, she's in incredible shape. Um, she's extremely confident um, and playing some of her best basketball right now. Um, she does everything well. I mean, she's really focused and locked in on her defense. Um, she's running the floor well. Um, she does a lot of things really well. And um, I, I think, you know, defensively, like you said, with her four blocks, she's in help side, help side more. Just, I think just her comfort level being a junior, you can just definitely tell. Um, and, you know, she has so, so many opportunities either to score inside, she can shoot it from the three. Um, and, you know, she's just really worked on her game. So I feel like her, her overall, her overall game just looks really great. Um, and she just, she's so unselfish and she just does a great job of just m meshing with this, this group because she can play inside and out. Out rebounded tonight, but it seemed like that was kind of a product of a lot of their shots kind of going long. They were grabbing the rebounds. Is that what you saw? What did you attribute that to? Yeah, we we talked about that because they shoot a lot of threes. You know, long long shot, long rebounds. Um, I thought we had good position. We just needed to be more aggressive of going to get the ball. There's a lot of times where you see the the ball dropped, or we we re, um, you know we got the box out, make contact, but we didn't go get the ball. So it's definitely something that we're going to work on. Um, something we'll fix. On a general level, you Yeah, I think that um, I've always talked about just having more pride individually. And so everyone is really working on being a better on-ball defender. Um, and then we really talked a lot and have worked a lot with our help rotation. So that's something that we're really working on. Um, our ball screen defense right now, we're, we're switching a little bit more. So I think that's throwing teams off, which is great because that just brings more pressure on the ball. Um, but yeah, I think we're just working on pretty much every aspect defensively and um, different the different personnel, different lineups. Um, you'll see a lot of different things defensively, but they're really working, which is great. Olivia, how 
does your approach change every game now that you're not the freshman, the people are still trying to figure out how to guard, they have a whole year of film on you. How does that change your approach coming into each game? It, it really doesn't. Um, I'm going to play my game regardless of, you know, who's in front of me. Um, you know, I, I respect whoever's guarding me and, and vice versa. So um, I'm just excited to, you know, have that year under my belt and just use it to my advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. 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 Do you like